have to sweat. This is muscles of patience. I have to do those things. I have to drive slower. I have to drive 55 miles per hour, not, not 60, not 75, definitely. I have to lower my speed of the internet. Uh, even Sheikh Yasser, I was, here is an exercise also for you. I was discussing this with Sheikh Yasser and he said, yes, yes, yes. Here is a litmus test to test this concept. If I go to someone here and tell him, uh, for example, Brother Ahmed here, sorry to pick on you. So tell him, oh, mashallah, I know you, you're such a wonderful person, mashallah. But there is something I'm not sure if I should tell you or not. Maybe, yani, I hope you forgive me. You know what? Maybe not. <laughs> and I leave. What happens now? What happens now? I leave, I go home, I sleep. What happens to him? That's the end, right? Why? What, what is killing him now? His brain. He cannot restrain his brain. You see that? What did he mean? What is it? And now we start the mental rehearsal process. Is it this? If he says this, I'm going to tell him this. And then when he says this, this is, you know what I mean? And you have an entire scenario developed. Do we do that? And you, you, your mind is all over the place. And is it that? And, or is it this? And you can't stop the proper a person who's well trained, the heart controlling the mind will say the following. Hassan, whenever you're ready to tell me, please let me know. Until then, it's okay. Look, I, I have a list of 15 of them. There is 15, at, at least I, I, I compile. 15 spiritual exercises you can do to gain patience. They're all that way. Those are secular. The ones I searched, Yani, uh, told you. But there is one, at least, let me share two with you. Quick, that are from the deen and the essence of it. Please, those are the most essential ones. I'll start with the simpler one first, and then the second one, which is more involved. Writing ilm down. Meaning what? You attend sessions of knowledge, right? Uh, you read a book, a book of, let's say, Riyad al-Salihin, a book of Hadith, even, something as simple as that. Any book you're reading. Do you take notes? Do you know what I mean? Even the way we read nowadays, the way we watch a YouTube video, forward, can't wait, right, to the end. Can't wait. When I read, I'm telling you, one of the spiritual exercises you do every day, you say, okay, pick up the, four, the 40 Hadith of Imam al-Nawawi. Any book you like, Islamic, let's say. Uh, Riyadh al-Salihin, and you do it that way, 20 minutes, and I'm going to sit down. I'm going to open the hadith, and I'm going to read it. The hadith that I like, I have a notebook. Sisters, you can get one of those wonderful diaries. My daughter has one, I know, you know what I mean. Get something that's really beautiful, really. That's something that you're going to keep. And you tell yourself, the hadith that I'm going to like, I'm going to sit down, not type it on the computer. And I'm going to get, I'm going to be old-fashioned, a pen, right? And I'm going to write it. And the way I start, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The hadith start. An Mu'adh ibn Jabal, radiyallahu anhu. I write it down. Anna Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi. You're going to be saying what? P B U H. Quickly. No, no, no. Peace and blessings be upon him. Write it and write it not, not like this. This is like chicken writing, right? Write as beautiful as you can. Slowly as you can. That the Prophet وسلم, said, open quotations, start writing the hadith. What are you speaking about? What's the benefit of this? First, even in ilm, we, we are not, we are not absorbing it because of the speed. We don't take time to reflect on it. We don't allow it to sink. There is a big difference. Do it this way and you'll see. The moment you start writing, it slows you down. You're thinking about every single word, right? Now when I do that, and I start writing it, writing it, writing it, openings will happen, and you start to think, and you'll have a reflection, right? And it's training for what? Slow down, be patient. It takes you five minutes to write the hadith daily. If you do that, after one year, you'll have, you'll be amazed. You'll have the source of knowledge that's actually you thought about with reflections, very beneficial. Writing down. Slowly, with your hand, beautifully, right? As much as you can. This is one spiritual exercise. The second one that I leave you with, and this is most important because it's mentioned in the Quran, the ability to be patient, the ability even to control the mind, to break this cycle, to be present, is thicker. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in multiple places, relate the ability to be patient 
to ذكر his remembrance. For example, فاصبر لحكم ربك وسبح بحمد ربك قبل طلوع الشمس وقبل الغروب. That's in Surah Al-Najm. Be patient. فاصبر على ما يقولون. I'm sorry, this is the other ayah. فاصبر على ما يقولون. That's in Surah Al-Khaf. فاصبر على ما يقولون. Be patient over what they say. They say negative things. You need patience to handle that. How? Be in dhikr before the sun rises and before the sun goes. Where am I with dhikr? Remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enhances patience. Why? What is the relation? Show me. Look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not leave us haphazardly. Do you think something as, as important as this Allah will not prescribe on us? No, it has been prescribed. Do you want me to show you where? Here is where I start. After Salah. After Salah, me included. I'm at work and the, it's time for Salat al-Asr. I leave my cube, Allahu Akbar. I've been working on eight different applications. And then I'm supposed to step like this, Allahu Akbar, and I'm working on eight different windows at the same time, and my mind is supposed to focus on one. Can it happen? Very hard. The proper way, time for Salah, step back. Get out of the building, that's me. Have a five minutes walk. Doing what? Doing nothing. Space. Then come for Salah. Do not, when you pray, do not start, I was playing a video game, it's time for Salah, let's, let's switch. You cannot. I need space between things. One of, space even, this campus is beautiful. If you want to learn patience and be at peace, learn to walk every day 10 minutes in nature, 20 minutes. Before Salah, be prepared before it's 5 minutes, 3 minutes. Shh, silence and walk. Even just watch the trees. That's it. Clear your mind. And then now it's time for Salah. Allahu Akbar. I pray. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. What happens? You feel the urge inside of you always what? After Salah, with two minutes, we're outside the masjid speaking. You know what I'm speaking about, brothers, right? So you weren't in a hurry, were you? You didn't have something important. I see you speaking outside the masjid for 20 minutes. You understand? What I, does it happen? Yes. So after Salah, what am I supposed to do? This is practical. I sit down, and what? Theoretically, what should I do? What is the Sunnah? Subhanallah 33 times. Alhamdulillah 33 times. Allahu Akbar 33 times. It takes how long? Three minutes? Five minutes? Yet we find that... See, this is training. Can you do this five times a day? See the training here? Five times a day. You stop, you bring yourself down, you focus, on this learn to be patient right now the problem is the following if i do it i start doing this subhanallah 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 alhamdulillah la ilaha illallah again and this tells you you we feel we encounter ourselves and we feel that some of us can't even sit it's just sitting for those five minutes i can't sit composed I, I, my my leg i start to itch you know my body even is not obeying me I'm not at peace, I'm not at equilibrium. I need stimulus continuously. I need to be stimulated. Quiet environment is not good for me. See what I'm saying? That's terrible. And then dhikr is about training about that. Now you sit down and you tell yourself nothing is more important than what I'm doing right now. Those five minutes are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then I start slowly. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Let's say I cannot concentrate. My mind is everywhere. What should I do? They tell you, scholars will tell you, if that's your level, that my mind cannot be focused, they tell you, focus on writing it. You know what writing? In English, if you don't know Arabic. So, al Allahu Akbar, write it, you know, write it in the air, I mean. Allahu, focus on the letters. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Why? I'm not concentrating on the meanings, I know. But it's bringing my mind to focus. Write it down, you know, like, Allah, imagine it, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allah, Allahu Akbar is a very powerful dhikr. Allah is greater. Allah is greater. Thoughts come the way I feel. Allah is greater. Allah is greater than my pain. Allah is greater than my depression. Allah is greater than what I want. Allah is greater. Any thought that comes, Allah is greater. Allahu Akbar. Allah, I'm trained. My mind is being trained. Stop thinking. Return back to Allah. Focus. It's not going to happen in one day or two days or three days. It takes time. But then Allah helps. But I'm, I'm required to start. <coughs> Therefore, I can break this cycle. There is more to be said. I, I didn't say everything, but dhikr. 
Can I share with you the, the last, last one? You can go till nine. No, is you guys okay can. With that? Yeah. Let's take a vote. Okay. Yeah, let's have like a five-minute break. Yes, that's a great idea. <laughs> I like that. Break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll have a break now? Yeah. How, how long do you guys want? Oh, okay. Okay. Please don't feel shy. I, I was a student one day, Cairo University. Any lecture is one and a half hours. Right? And I, I'm telling you as a student, I could never pass one hour ten minutes. In my five years in Cairo University. I could not. The last twenty minutes are off. So like we'll take a break, ten minutes, five minutes, what five minutes. Seven minutes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>